committed to this Eucharistic celebration by we remind ourselves of our intentions, asking God for his love and for us in our lives. In a special way also, we pray for the intentions of Joseph from when ever we now to God can part of it. Lawrence was Paul, Wayne, Mary Bridgeview, Tia, Todd, and Eden. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. My brothers and sisters, to be worthy to celebrate this Eucharist, let us call to mind our sins, asking God for forgiveness and mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, source and origin of all fatherhood. Who kept the martyrs, St. Andrew the Blank, and his companions faithful to the cross of your son, even to the shedding of their blood, grant through their intercession, that spreading your love among our brothers and sisters, we may be your children both in name and in truth. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please receive. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, looked, and there was a white cloud, and sitting on the cloud one who looked like a son of man, with a gold crown on his head and a sharp sickle in his hand. Another angel came out of the temple, crying out in a loud voice to the one sitting on the cloud, Use your sickle and reap the harvest, for, this, for the time to reap has come, because the earth's harvest is fully ripe. So the one who was sitting on the cloud swung his sickle over the earth, and the earth was harvested. Then another angel came out of the temple in heaven, who also had a sharp sickle. Then another angel came from the altar, who was in charge of the fire, and cried out in a loud voice to the one who had the sharp sickle, Use your sharp sickle and cut the clusters from the earth's vines, for its grapes are ripe. <laughs> so the angel swung his sickle over the earth, and cut the earth's vintage. He threw it into the great wine press of God's fury. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial is, the Lord comes to judge the earth. The Lord comes to judge the earth. He moved. He governs the peoples with equity. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then shall all the trees of the forest exult. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to rule the earth, he shall rule the world with justice and the peoples with his constancy. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Remain faithful until death, and I will give you the crown of life. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. The reading from the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. While some people were speaking about how
When there will not be left a stone upon another stone that will not be thrown down. Then they asked him, Teacher, when will this happen? And what sign will there be when all these things are about to happen? He answered, See that you see that you need not be deceived. For many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and the time has come. Do not follow them. When you hear of wars and insurrections, do not be terrified. For such things must happen first, but it will not immediately be the end. Then he said to them, Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be powerful earthquakes, famines, plagues, from place to place. And awesome signs and mighty signs will come from the sky. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Please be seated. Sometimes I reflect how the judgment time will be. What will happen on the judgment time? How do we know about the judgment time? But it is not our call to make. It's like going for examination. If you read from the first day, get prepared, and the teacher comes in and said, you will have a quiz next week. You will know those who prepared and those who do not. There is always a sign of me. And the teacher said, there will be a quiz next week maybe next week Friday. The good student who has been preparing from day one, if you see him, you will know. But in that midst of hey, on Thursday morning, you will see people still asking, where are we supposed to read? Will he still give the test or not? So it is not all about the time. The time will come, but we do not know. The most important thing is be prepared. Get ready. And I remember the story of Popeye's deceased. Said so the three kids were playing, and the priest comes around and said, If Jesus is coming right now, what will you do? The first one said, I look for a priest, go for confession. The other one said, I run into the church and start praying. And the third one said, I keep on playing soccer. And he wrote, he said, who among these three answered well? And when this question was thrown to us many years back, we think it was the one who ran into the church or the one who seek for a priest for confession. But the answer is simple. He said, the one playing soccer. Because he knew that I am doing what I'm supposed to do. In the same way, I said to you, we are children of the kingdom. We are always prepared about the judgment day. It is not important to us whether it is February 20 or January 10 or December 4. We are not interested. We are interested in our action today, our behavior today. We are doing what we are supposed to do. Our life every day is about examination. So I say to you in the same way, if Jesus is coming today, what will you do? Where will you be? If you know you have something to change, change it now the quiz or the exam will eventually come. So why do you wait? Be a good student from day one. 
prepare for the exam so that when it comes it will be one of the things in life so do not worry about the day of the judgment do not wait for it to come the bible has said it will come like a thief and it's only the activities of the thief we don't know when it will happen many generations ago they thought it would happen it does not in the same way we will not know but the important factor is to do the right thing at the right time. Minister. As we continue to pray for Joseph Trangwen, Eva Wiener, I'm gonna Ken Bartlett Lawrence Morrison Joseph Wing Paul Wing Mary Beachview Theo Tola and Eden. We also remember all those who requested for our prayers, especially our brothers and sisters who are sick. May God in his mercy visit them this day. Granted health of mind and body. We also pray for all those who have died, especially our beloved ones. May God grant them eternal rest in His kingdom, where we hope to visit them and be with them and celebrate. And we also pray for ourselves. Heavenly King and Father, prepare us from this day. We know we will see the kingdom. We wait for the kingdom, but we will not be in a rush to prepare. Preparation is part of our activity. We are children of the kingdom. Our life will be an example for others to follow. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and the work of human hands, it will become for us the spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Holy Father, the offerings we bring as we venerate the passion of the holy martyrs, so that amid the trials of this life, we may always be found faithful and may offer ourselves to you as an acceptable sacrifice to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is really right and just and our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For you are glorified when your sins are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give order to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. <coughs> Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth, sing a new song in adoration and we with all the host of angels cry out and without end we are clear 
holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna by our hands. Blessed is the name of the Lord. Hosanna by our hands. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the before, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave him thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread for the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope. Oscar Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, as spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to the glorious to enter our life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son. Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor be yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and found by divine teaching, we are to say, Our, Our Father, Lord, 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 Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Please 
as you see. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray. Renewed by the one bread, as we come and read the holy martyrs, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that abiding as one in your love, we may merit by endurance and eternal prize. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
The Lord is with you. Almighty God, continue to bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to Lord and to serve. Thank you, God.